Hey guys, it's me, Drew. Welcome back to my channel. Happy July. I wanted to film this video last week, but time just got the best of me. So we are here. It is July. It felt like June went by so fast, which for someone like me who absolutely hates the summer, it's surprising because listen, it was so hot that one week here. It was over 100 degrees. I mean, it felt like over 100 degrees. I think it was like 95, 96, but still too hot for me. And honestly, I burned through so many candles this month. I don't even remember burning half of these. I mean, I do, but I cannot believe it took me like, there's 16 candles here. 16 candles. My wax melts, not so much, but candles. Yeah, we got a lot of candles. So, Without further ado, let's get into it. First up, I finished Nice Ass from Matt Matthews. He makes the cheekiest little candle phrases. Matt Matthews is on TikTok, YouTube. He is a super funny guy. He has a farm. He does farm chores. He does all sorts of things. He's a comedian. He also has a really incredible candle line. And this one is Lavender Fields. His little donkey on the front. And his candles are 100% soy wax. Now, I really love his candles. They all burn super strong. They all burn super clean. Now, it is a little murky on the bottom. But that's just because the last burn, I just let it burn until it extinguishes itself. So it does scorch a little bit at the bottom of the wax. But for the most part, it's a very, very clean burning candle. They're $29.99. They burn for a good long time too and very strong. I had this one going its entirety in my bedroom. It's a very herbal, fresh lavender, very much like a French lavender. So I would repurchase this. I really like the fragrance. It's super strong, super authentic. And like I said, his candles do perform really well for me. So I was very, very happy with that one. One that I was not too happy with is Desert Blooms from Yankee Candle. Now, this is part of their new three wick candle collection for the summer, trying to resemble Bath and Body Works. I feel like everybody is starting to do this classic Bath and Body Works three wick silhouette. And honestly, it seems like the three wick candle overall just does not perform the best for me. And this is no exception. I ended up, you'll see, it's just to here, the halfway mark. I did not like the fragrance. It was almost like an overwhelmingly perfumey, almost like it's a perfumey leaning masculine fragrance. It's really hard to describe. I just did not care for the fragrance. The throw was okay, it was medium. I had this one per burning in my office and I could smell it. It wasn't overpowering or overwhelming, but it just did not perform well at all. As you can see, super, super sooty. And then eventually it just became so bad. The wicks became so puny that it almost extinguished itself. So I blew it out and threw it in the candle crock and it just lived the rest of its life in the candle crock. Now, this is something I don't want to get on a tangent, so I'm going to try to make it quick. I I have a phrase, and if you're friends with me or we've messaged before, you I say something called, I hate burn it. And I know hate is a strong word, but I'm hate burning something. Like, I don't like the fragrance. I don't like the way it performs. So I'm literally just burning it to get rid of it. I call that a hate burn. Like I have so many candles in my collection right here that I love that are just sitting there. And I need to get out of that mentality of, let me save it, let me save it. Because eventually it's going to start deteriorating, deteriorating. The fragrance is going to start to wear off. The wicks aren't going to perform as well. And then at the end of the day, you have a fragrance you really liked and it's not going to perform as well because you hung on to it for too long. So life is too short to burn candles that you don't enjoy. I don't care if you do it like I do where I film videos for YouTube or you do it for a personal use at home. It just life is too short not to burn candles you love. So I need to get in the mentality Katie, my friend Katie here on YouTube makes this so brilliant series called like decluttering. 
and she just puts a candle in a box. Melanie at Mr. Kong's mom does it too. She doesn't share it on a series like Katie does, but at the end of the day, you know, they have friends who love candles. I have friends that love candles, and I need to start doing that. Having a bin, if I don't like the fragrance, pop it in the bin. Friends come over, hey, do you have any candles for me? Yep, yeah, shop this box. All for you. Give it to better homes. You know, at the end of the day, life is too short. That's what I'm going to say. And I there's a couple candles in here that only held that purpose for me. I just wanted to finish them up. Satisfaction of finishing up the candle. And I know some people view crocking a candle or lamping a candle a waste. I don't personally think it's a waste because you're extracting all the fragrance out of the candle that way. But I understand that some people do. So again, just a personal preference. For me though, I do enjoy the candle crocs and the candle lamps. I like the ambiance of the candle lamp and the style. I like the performance of a candle crock. If you're not sure about a candle crock or a candle lamp, I will make a video about it someday. Melanie has an incredible video about it. And yeah, definitely check her out, Mr. Kong's mom. All right, speaking of hate burning, these weren't necessarily hate burn candles, but they are just not for me. Goose Creek, okay? These are the last two Goose Creek candles in my collection. I've only done one haul from them, and that was enough. They are just Bath & Body Works copycats. And like, I hate to say that, but they try to do everything like Bath & Body Works. They have the same silhouette. They have a very similar wax formula. They have these, you know, fun, cutesy fragrances that they repackage year after year. They have foam soap and plugins. It just, it just, I don't like that. I want a brand to be unique to them. And every brand that I like has something unique about them. And the performance is just not there for me. It is so inconsistent across the board. I had a candle that performed great. I had a candle that absolutely was abysmal. And it, you know, other brands have, you know, they're hits and misses too, but Goose Creek is just not a brand that I feel like I need to spend my money on, you know, like Homeworks, like I'm finished with Homeworks, I'm finished with Goose Creek. So this is the last two Goose Creek candles I have in my collection. The first one is Marshmallow Snow Cream. There's no description on it. It looks like a full candle because it is. I just ended up popping this entire candle into my candle crock in my kitchen. Now, this is a really rich vanilla marshmallow fragrance. So, when I was burning bakery, when I was burning anything that had like a bakery element to it, walking into my kitchen, this just blending with everything in the background was really, really nice. As you see, the wicks completely sank inside the wax. There's really nothing left. It's the fragrance is extracted. I had what I needed from it and it's finished. But you probably, you know, I can guarantee you won't be seeing any more Goose Creek candle hauls on my channel. It's just not a brand that I support or enjoy purchasing from. And then this guy is Blueberry Muffin. This was part of the Strawberry Shortcake collection. Now I did burn this entire candle and boy was she sooty. And just like Bath & Body Works candles, when it got to the halfway point, super puny wicks. And I ended up, I was off that day. It was super, super hot out. I wasn't planning on leaving the house all day. I lit it and just let it burn until it extinguished itself. I didn't enjoy it. The fragrance was fine. It smelled more like a blueberry muffin mix than a cooked muffin. You know how like a blueberry muffin mix will smell rich, decadent, creamy, where like the muffin, once it's cooked, has like that cakiness, that flakiness, or almost like, not a dryness, but like a finished cake smell. This smelled more like blueberry muffin batter. I did enjoy the fragrance. It just did not perform for me. All right, moving on to Bath and Body Works. I finished In the Stars, which I purchased at Candle Day. The notes are Starflower, Sandalwood Musk, and Radiant Amber. This guy also performed super, super dirty for me. Again, typical things that happen with Bath and Body Works candles. I really like the fragrance in the stars. I've used it a bunch of times in body wash and spray. I do like the fragrance. It gives Baccarat Rouge 540 Ariana Grande Cloud perfume vibes, but it is its own unique fragrance. It's been around for years and years and years from Bath & Body Works. I like the fragrance. It's perfumey. It's musky. It's ambery. 
it's woodsy. It is a really, really great, great fragrance. I just, you know, I burned it. I enjoyed it. I did it in my bedroom. The throw was really great. Performance I just lacked for me. Now, one of my favorite Bath & Body Works fragrances, Palo Santo and Vanilla. I am a Bath & Body Works Palo Santo, every brand, I should say, Palo Santo aficionado. I love Palo Santo. It's this woodsy, fresh, relaxing, just beautiful wood vibe fragrance. And their Palo Santo has such a rich, deep, earthy, masculine vibe to it that I just adore. And when they mixed it with vanilla originally, I was like, sign me up. And let me tell you, it was phenomenal. I absolutely loved the fragrance. It's just creamy. It's warm. It's rich. And the vanilla, it almost leans a little bit more gourmand vanilla, almost like a vanilla frosting versus like a vanilla bean. And blended with that Palo Santo, it's just heaven. I did this one in, in its entirety in my bedroom. Every time I burned it in my bedroom, it's phenomenal. The notes are Palo Santo, Woody Musk, and Tonka Bean. So Tonka Bean is going to give it that extra rich creaminess. And it was. It's incredible. Amazing. I wish they had this in hand soap, wallflowers. I would buy it up in those forms. But right now, it's only in the candle. I do love it. It is coming back, I believe, in the fall from what I saw on Instagram. Don't quote me. But I do absolutely love the fragrance and will repurchase it for crocking, at least, or lamping. The burn, as usual, once it gets to the halfway point, it's pretty much done for. So, oh well. Now, moving on to Kringle Candle. Now, you probably are sick of it, but I have to say it. I'm a Kringle Candle Ambassador, which means if you use my discount code DrewYawk15, it'll save you 15% off. It is an affiliate code. I do earn a commission. You don't have to use the code. If you do, I greatly appreciate it. I wouldn't be an ambassador if I didn't love the brand. Now, with that being said, there's quite a few here that I did not love. And again, it's just the nature of the beast, you know? There's some things you love. There's some things you don't. And just because I'm an ambassador does not mean that I won't tell you guys the honest truth on how I feel. Starting with Juicy Delight. This was a three-wick candle that came out last year. I believe it's still available. Don't quote me. It's the same fragrance as the Watermelon fra the watermelon Pops. Is that what it's called? From the Country Candle line on their website. Same fragrance. Love the fragrance. The Burn. Terrible. Notes, watermelon, lime, lemon, green, sugar, and watermelon. You guys, from the moment I lit, lit this candle up, puny wicks. I mean, it literally went done. First burn. I messaged Katie. I was like, did you burn Juicy Delight? Same thing. I, I just, I don't know what it is with this fragrance or this wick, but typically the Kringle Three Wicks performed so well for me. This did not. I mean, typically they burn down a lot further than this, but it self-extinguished itself at this point. I literally let it burn just to burn it. I did, again, hate burn. I loved the fragrance, so I wanted to enjoy it, but I simply couldn't because the flames never got high enough to produce that strength and throw that I love. Now, I'm burning watercolors right now from that same era, and I absolutely love it. I mean, this you'll see once it's empty, but can you see? It's burning very, very nicely. Let's see if you can see. Nice, deep wax pull, throw. Ah, oh, so great. I love this fragrance. But yeah, it's just, some are great, some are not. This one is really great, really performing well. This is not. It smells like a watermelon Jolly Rancher, straight up. Listen, sometimes there's nothing wrong with artificial fragrances, right? I simply love this. I thought it performed okay. The strength can throw, not that great. But I would totally repurchase this scent. I might even pop this little bit into my candle lamp just to extract the rest of that fragrance out because it was simply that great. All right, let's talk about the incredible fragrances and then we'll talk about one, actually only one here that did not perform well for me. All right, first up, ice cream sandwiches. Heaven. This 
was heaven, and I will totally buy more. For one, the label is beautiful. Beautiful ice cream sandwiches rolled in sprinkles, or as in Pittsburgh, we say jimmies, with cookies. Okay, let me tell you what this smells like. When I first smelled this, I was like, whoa, that's not what I expected from this at all. This is like, you made, you walked into an ice cream shop, the ice cream is out in the case in abundance. It smells so good in that ice cream shop. It's rich, it's decadent. You almost smell coldness from the ice cream. I can still get such a strong fragrance on the cold throw just from this little bit of wax. They're making homemade cookies, specifically macadamia nut cookies. It does not smell like a chocolate chip cookie to me. It smells like a macadamia nut cookie. And let me tell you, it's beautiful. That blend of that rich, melty ice cream, that vanilla ice cream with a hint of coconut cream, which this fragrance, if you love coconut, you'll probably detect it. If you don't love coconut, it just smells extra creamy and rich. That coconut cream really richens and enlivens this fragrance. Added the freshly baked macadamia nut cookies, so great. If you love summer, try this. If you're like me and you don't love summer, you don't want fruity fragrances, you're a bakery lover, but you want to find a bakery scent for summer, ice cream sandwiches. Still available on Kringle's website. This, I don't want to say it was the highlight of the whole thing, but man, it was good. And when they have a sale, they typically do BOGO towards the end of a season to stock up. I will stock up. I will get just two of these. It burned so well. It was so great. Highly, highly, highly recommend that fragrance. Another one that was amazing, Coral. If you like fresh, clean, ozonic fragrances, this is one for you. Again, burn amazing. So good. This I had in my bedroom. And honestly, I, I should have, but I did not. I should have brought it out into the living room to smell how the strength and throw was in the living room, but it almost knocked me out in my bedroom. It was strong. And sometimes you, the scent like this that's super fresh and clean without being laundry clean, it's more like fresh seawater, fresh air, breezy. It's really hard to describe. A little soapy, but not like laundry detergent. It almost was so strong in my bedroom that it knocked me out, but I love it. I love a strong fragrance. This was awesome. If you're a fresh fan, Coral. If you're a foodie, ice cream sandwiches. These both knocked me out of the park. I absolutely love them. Love them, love them, love them. Now, is that, okay, it is in here. All right. Mint from Diptyque. Now it does have all these words. It means mint. Mint is a very high, Diptyque is a high-end brand. This is $74. It is a paraffin candle. They burn down so clean. This smells just like garden mint. You picked mint right from the garden. Beautiful. I had this burning in my living room and every time I walked up the stairs into my living room, with it, whether it was lit or not, it just smelled fresh. Now, I am not the biggest fan of mint fragrances, specifically peppermint, but this fresh garden mint was uh, perfect. Now, these small candles do amazing in my bedroom, my office. The living room, if I pair two together, I get an incredible strength and throw. If I just do one, it's just going to be light. I mean, you can't expect a candle, no matter how expensive it is, a size like this is not going to fill an entire house. It's just not. So I paired it with cotton flowers from Country Candle. Now this was getting a lot of mixed signals, um, mixed reviews with Kringle. It looks pretty sooty because the last burn, I just let it burn again until it extinguished itself. Probably shouldn't, but I did. I liked this scent and I know a lot of people didn't because of the spearmint. It's fresh cotton, eucalyptus, and spearmint. Three very, very powerful fragrance notes combined together. I love this. This almost smells cold. Do you know the feeling if you use a body wash or a body lotion for that matter that has a cooling effect? 
whenever like 10 minutes go by, it, it sort of feels like it's burning your skin, but in reality, it's just really, really cooling on your skin. That is what this felt like whenever you used it. But I absolutely loved it. I loved this fragrance. It just felt cool. When it was 100 degrees and I had this lit, it just cooled down the room. Granted, I had the air conditioner blasting, but still, it just performed so well for me. I would repurchase this. I really, really liked it. And again, paired with the Diptyque Mint, it was phenomenal. Now, I actually have two pairings to talk to you about, but before we do, let's just get this out of the way. Grilled PB&J. The epitome of a hate burn. I did not like this at all, okay? I don't like the fragrance. It truly, oh, it truly smells like a burnt peanut butter and jelly sandwich to me. And it makes me so sad. Crumble had a peanut butter and jelly cookie out last week. It was peanut butter and raspberry jam. I had two. It was so, so good. That cookie was amazing. I love peanut butter and jelly. I love the food. I love everything about it. When you take grilled PB&J, I don't know. It truly just smelled like burnt bread when I had it lit. Wait, oh, mm -mm, I did not like it. And the flames. I love Kringle. I love Kringle with all my heart. Nobody complained about the wicks. The wicks were perfect. They're starting to change the wicks and they're not good. This literally were flamethrowers for me. I had this lit maybe an hour. I mean, uh, you're not going to see this, but I'm holding it up to the light here. It's completely black. Any of the other candles, you can see the light through them. That's how much soot this candle produced because it burned so hot. After not even two hours, the flame was giant. I, I, I trimmed them to absolute nubs. So I wish Kringle would just refigure out the wicks. And who knows, maybe that's why I didn't like this fragrance also, because it ended up burning the wax because it was so, so hot. I don't know, but I know so many people loved it. And if you did, I'm so happy for you. I just, I just don't like the fragrance. All right, let's talk about some reserve pairings. Now, I love pairing a candle. And when I saw Juicy Strawberry and Australian Kiwi, I knew I had to try this blend. Now, Juicy Strawberry is in my top 10 crinkle fragrances. I absolutely love it. Juicy Strawberries, Lemon Leaf, Tomato Vine, Parsley, Sheer Basil, Violet Leaf, Oak Moss, Geranium, and Musk. This is so good, you guys. It is a very, very green strawberry. If you're familiar with Coastal Strawberry from Sensi, very, very similar. It's a very green strawberry. It's the strawberry vine. It's the entire strawberry vine, not just the fruit. Love. Performed incredible. Love Juicy Strawberry. Paired with Australian Kiwi was awesome. Kiwi Pulp, Citron, Lychee, Apricot, Melon, Starfruit, Nectarine, Turbinado Sugar, and Apple Peel. This was really nice. Initially, I was like, oh, it's fine. It's just a fruity scent. But no, it did smell like a kiwi fruit. It smelled like that tart, juicy kiwi. I did this in my kitchen. No, my, my living room. And this in my dining room. Together, phenomenal. It just smelled like childhood, like a strawberry kiwi lemonade. There was no lemonade, but you know what I mean. It smelled like a strawberry kiwi fruit juice. It was awesome. Loved this combo. But the highlight combo, both new reserve candles, both burned great. These did not have any problems. Ginger peach and Merlot. I don't drink. I don't like to drink, but this was summer sangria is what I'm calling this. All right, ginger peach, peach, nectar, apricot, spice, sweet cane sugar. See, I hear so many people say they get the ginger. I don't get the ginger. I loved this fragrance. It performed so well for me. It burned all the way down, fruity, juicy, juicy peach. I had this in the living room and I paired it with Merlot from the new reserve line. All of these are still available, by the way. I'll leave my link down below. Grape Berry Current Sweet Berry Sugar. This 
very much like wine grapes, like thick skinned wine grapes. You get all of those elements. It does not smell like cough syrup to me, especially when you burn it. And let me tell you, when you burned the Merlot with the gingered peach, you got the most decadent, delicious sangria type of vibe that was such a perfect summer duo. I hands down would purchase both of these again. I loved them. I loved the combination. So those are all my candles. I'm going to get a sip of water and then we'll be back to dive in to the wax melts. Wax melts, I honestly, it was such a crapshoot. I did so many this month. I finished my Brick of Orchard by the Sea from Scentsy. I really liked this. This was like an apple-y, fresh aquatic fragrance. It threw really great. Finished it, last a couple days. Did really, really enjoy this one. I would repurchase that one. I did, I should have two of these. Let's see. I should organize these to be honest, but it is what it is. Oh, here we go. I had two uh, clams of Rainbow Sherbet. Rainbow Sherbet is such a strong fruity fragrance. If you like Rainbow Sherbet to eat, it smells exactly like it. All those like orange, lime, raspberry, all those notes in a sherbet combined, very, very strong. I did two bars in my living room, dining room, kitchen. Loved it. Sun Castles. I didn't like this. This was one of the new fragrances. Like a light coconut sunscreen type of fragrance, but I got absolutely no throw from it. Nothing. And the clam, super thin. So I almost wonder, like, see this clamshell? See what bounces right back? This, it like just squishes. So I don't know if this has anything to do with these performing really bad. I don't know, but didn't enjoy that one. This is weird. Lemon and Mandarin from the uh, Mental Health Awareness Collection. It smells fine. It smells exactly like it. Lemons and Mandarin oranges. Every time I melted it, it matches my shirt. Every time I melted this, I smelled Fruit Loops. I did it in my bedroom. Every time I walked into my bedroom, I kept being like, I get a Fruit Loops note from this. Why am I getting Fruit Loops? I have no idea, but it just it just freaked me out a little bit because this has nothing to do with Fruit Loops. I know a lot of Fruit Loop fragrances are like citrusy lemon, so I see where I got it from, but I just wasn't expecting that. I was expecting a very spa-like scent when I walked into my bedroom, and I did not get it. Lavender Vanilla. Also did this in my bedroom. I liked it. It was a very creamy body care Lavender Vanilla though. Like if you went like Dr. Teal's Lavender Vanilla Body Wash. Like it definitely leans like a sweet soapy lavender versus herbal. I actually have this going right now, this combo in, where's the other one? In my living room, dining room, kitchen area. Pink Coconut. This was the scent of the month. I want to say March. I liked it. It's definitely coconut, but it's very different. It has like a fruity element to it. It's hard to describe, but I did really like Pink Coconut. So it's doing pretty well in there. Speaking of pink, I did two bars of Pink Leather. It's nice. It is a leathery fragrance, but a very light scent. Emphasis on... um like floral and fruit. And then like the background is leather. I did really like it though. And it performed pretty well for me. Just Keep Swimming. I did this in my bathroom. I barely got any throw from it. I did two cubes at a time. Every couple days changed it. Never really got anything from it. It's a flat bottom too, so it's pretty old, but it did perform not great for me. So same with Very Vanilla. I was really excited about this one. People talked highly about it. I barely got a throw and I did it in my bedroom and my bedroom, everything performs in my bedroom. It's like a magical spot for Scentsy Wax. This did not. And then, oh, mm, buzzworthy. All right, it's bring back my bar month time. I'm not buying any bring back my bars. I am in a place with Scentsy. I'm a Scentsy consultant. I love my Scentsy Wax. I love my Scentsy Warmers. I have them all over. I love them. I have too much wax. I have done the hack to skip my club for a year now. Every time I think about getting my club, I have to cancel it because I have so much wax. 
And there's always a new limited time offer. There's always a new scent of the month. There's always a new collection, a new catalog. Bring back my bar. I, I, I don't reach for the things I love because new things come out all the dang time. And there's fragrances that I love and I never reach for. I have an Excel spreadsheet like many do, of all my Scentsy Wax. I put the name and the day that I got it. I have over 500 bars. That's two a day for a year and a half. That's a lot of wax. I will never go through that. I sometimes don't change my wax for a week. I can't buy any more wax from Scentsy for a while. It just becomes overwhelming. And I'm seeing these bring back my bars and I'm having a little bit of FOMO. I really want to try the new bars, but I know how it is. I'll get the new bars. I'll sniff them. I don't want to melt them because I have old wax. Then it sits. Then I'm like, oh, I should add this to my club. It'll go in my club. Club processing. I can't. I have to cancel it because I don't have time. I don't have the space. I. It just, it's becoming overwhelming. I mean, I, people have so, I can't be the only one that has 500 bars of wax or more. I'm sure there's people who have more than that. It's becoming overwhelming that I'm not enjoying the Scentsy wax anymore. So I, I don't care that there is, you know, a new collection. Like I'll look, sure, that sounds interesting. I'm sure I have something in my collection very similar to it. And at the end of the day, you know, I like counter clean. I like the warmers. If there's a warmer I love, I'll buy it. If there's a counter clean I like, I'll buy it. If there's a wax I absolutely have to, have to, have to, have to have. Fall, it's a little bit more challenging because I love fall fragrances. I'll get it. But for the most part, I have so much of my collection that I will never use it up. And then it's just wasting money. So it's already July 3rd. I went through all of June as a consultant with early access that I did not purchase wax. The Bring Back My Bar Kit. I'm not purchasing any now. I'm staying strong and I'm trying my hardest not to order the Bring Back My Bars because I just know how it is. My club suffers because I can't enjoy the wax anymore because I'm overwhelmed with the amount of launches and it's just getting to be too much for me. But if you're not overwhelmed, you have a great amount and you want to order some Scentsy, Buzzworthy is back this Bring Back My Bar. I love Buzzworthy. People either love it or they hate it. I love it. This has been in my stash. I have like 20 bars. Again, I have 20 bars. I don't need it anymore. I don't need to add it to my club. I have enough. This is great. This is great. It's honey, almonds, and vanilla. People love it. People hate it. I love it. Very sweet. I hate it. It smells like firecracker pop from Bath and Body Works, and I don't like firecracker pop. So I melted that just to melt it. Open Air Exploring. This was Father's Day. This was nice. Fresh, clean, aquatic, masculine. It did well in my bedroom. I'm happy that I finished it. I did a wallflower. Oh, Clean House Vibes. This was great. I had this in my downstairs entryway. The notes are lavender, bergamot, and mint. It smells like Fabuloso Cleaner. And it did phenomenal in my entryway. Love this fragrance. If you like Fabuloso, get your hands on Clean House Vibes from Bath & Body Works. Absolutely, absolutely love it. I finished from Wen Summer Pink Lemonade Mousse. Love the Wen Mousse. Love the volume it gives my hair. I, I absolutely love the mousse. And then I finished from Caroline Hirons brand Skin Rocks, the cream cleanser. This is an incredible facial cleanser. Tells you how much to use on the cap. Would repurchase this. Absolutely love the cleanser. <gasps> my basket's empty. Hallelujah. I never thought I would get down to sit and film this video with you, but I did. Let me know what you finished in June. Did you have a good month? What are you looking forward to in July? Are you ordering the Bring Back My Bars? What are some that you're loving? I just, I can't right now. It's just too, too much. And I also think I go to New York a lot. I love New York. I love my shows. The amount of money I spend on wax, I could buy a Broadway ticket. And I love Broadway. And I know there are two totally different things. But I have so much wax. I don't need any more. So, especially Scentsy. There's other things that I'm purchasing fragrance-wise because I love my home fragrance. And I will, I will not stop getting home fragrance in the mail. But as far as Scentsy goes, 
I need to dwindle my collection down. I would love, it's not going to happen, I would love to see it at 300 by the end of 2024. 300. It's a lot of bars. That's 200 bars in half a year. I don't think it's going to happen, but I would love to see it. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I will leave my Kringle link down below. I will leave my Scentsy link down below. I hope you have an incredible week, an incredible month, and I'll see you guys later. Subscribe, hit that notification bell. That way you're alerted every time I upload a video here on YouTube. Make it a better world and be kind. Love you guys. Bye.